Okay, so energy systems, really daunting for both students and teachers. So I'm just going to introduce my bottle top resource. Really simple resource, can be done with cones, can be done with the students themselves. Um, but straight away you can see it's a visual and as we're gonna as we're gonna explore, um, it's really kinesthetic. And let's face it, most of our students are kinesthetic learners or active learners. They've chosen to do A-level sport because they like to do. So let me share with you or let me show you how this would work. So the resource can work where you can have one each or you can have them in pairs, which will allow a bit of self-assessment and peer assessment. But first of all, I would have them out straight away to introduce energy systems. And we won't understand energy systems if we don't know what ATP is. So here you can see straight away, I've got a slightly bigger bottle top that represents our adenosine. And then we've got three phosphate molecules okay and they make up adenosine triphosphate and they are linked they are linked with bonds and you can see how straws quite easily allow this to happen to show how they're linked in that way skipping ropes are useful relay buttons if you're doing it um, with your students and straight away I've used these two different colors so they will immediately say, well, why two different colours? You know, student-led questions straight away. And I want them to be asking those kind of questions because I want them to recognise that this last bond, the bond between the last two phosphate, is a high-energy bond. So green for energy. And what I would say to them is, through an enzyme called ATPase, so when we need that energy, that bond will break, okay, leaving that phosphate not attached anymore, and we get a high amount of explosive or immediate energy, okay, because this has been stored inside our muscles and our sarcoplasm. Um, and this will then leave us with adenosine, and they're already starting to, to mumble this amongst themselves because we've now only got two phosphates. So we've got adenosine diphosphate. And you start to then be able to say to them, well, what kind of activity would this be useful for? You know, it's three seconds, so it's quite limited. All right, but once they've got an understanding of this, you can start to, to unravel why we need energy systems. Because what we need to do is we need a system in place that will allow this P to come back so we, we keep getting this energy from it from our stored ATP. So we can then straight away use the bottle tops again for energy system one. All right, we've got our creatine and our phosphate, phosphocreatine. Okay, or in this instance, our PCR, sorry, in this instance I'm showing that it's a creatine molecule. All right, and that's attached again to a phosphate molecule. All right, we've used green again. Well, so is that high energy bond as well? Of course it is, because it's green. All right, and I want them to understand that it's a very similar process in that when this breaks, we're also going to get energy. Notice I've not mentioned oxygen yet. So this is an anaerobic energy system. It's not using oxygen. The bond will break. These two will split, and that's through an enzyme called creatine kinase. And what will happen is, again, you'll get some immediate energy. The energy this time is also explosive, but only up to 10 seconds. So most students at that point start to think 100 meter sprint, which is a really good example of using this energy system predominantly. But that energy is also not only given as energy for the activity, what it will allow, and hence why my students have already done a different color code, is what will happen is the energy from that will allow it to resynthesize, or it will resynthesize one ATP. They can move this, they can do this, and in fact, often I get them to do it and they have to video themselves doing it and talking it through so they fully understand how this works. They'll start to ask, well, what happens with this floater? Not the physiological word I would want them always to use, but it brings the topic alive. They allow, it allows them to understand it better than probably just looking at a diagram. And what I would say is during active recovery, which is a different topic I will share with you, but when you start to recover, and active recovery is the best, this P that initially had broken off from the ATP will attach with, the, with the, the creatine, so you've now got some stored phosphocreatine again. Um, but, and, and that can happen quickly, it can happen within four minutes, but you need that active recovery. Um, and that's our energy system one. Great kinesthetic resource. Like I just said, they can video it, and then often they can use maybe an app like Comic Life, where they can actually talk, then talk through it to fully understand it. Once we've got that understanding, we can move on to energy system two and energy system three. Hope that helped and see you on the next one.